Hey friends, Barack Obizi here. This is our new project, Homie Bob, released as a mod for the original game. The link's in the description. Let's go ahead and play this shit. I wonder. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not cisgendered. So the first person you meet is me. Hi there. Well, right back at ya. Yeah, you! I know, right? It's crazy. My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. Well, the pleasure's all mine, if you know what I'm saying. Nope, not like that at all. Look, girl, are you gonna be alright? Nope. Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. Well, looks like you're having more trouble reading those fucking lines, buddy. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, sister. Listen, I gotta go. But we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do. I said, get up! Ugh. I was having the best dream. <laughs> I bet you were. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Q from the bar. Well, at least it isn't fucking Ryu. Yeah. But you had brown hair. Also, not wings. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. Nice. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Well, why didn't you just say so? Hmm, <clears throat> funny. But let's leave the sarcasm to me, alright? You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor gals like you out with the ladies. Oh. It's just what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <coughs> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. What the fuck do you want from me? Man, you win all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a sister out? No, we need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Well, define... You, you know... Wait, actual dates with physical girls? Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit, we're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. Oh, nice. Another Steam notification. Hmm, maybe. Stop it, G get out of here. Alright, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Okay. Fuck! See? Easy. Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Wow, pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens on the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Well, wait, ho hold up, Q. L listen here, friend. You're not showing me. I'm doing the actual demonstration. Unless... Holy fuck. Well, here you go. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Alright, let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. 
The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Find you need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Nice! Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Alrighty. Cool, huh? I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry. I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. Alrighty. Well, well thanks, friend. H how do I... What, what's your favorite trait? Fuck it. I suppose it doesn't really matter. To me... To me. Oh shit, it's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honeybee 4.0. The Honeybee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome. We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big girl. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead, break that bad boy open. Whoa. Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's do this shit! That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? I guess I'll go with... I'm trying to think of a place we haven't shown it before. Uh, the fitness club, the university campus, Nutmeg Cafe, or the Dawnward Park. Hmm, I'll go with the Dawnward Park, hoping for the best here. Good choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. What's up, Internet? <sighs> Good morning, Aiko. Oh, hey, Billy. What's wrong? It seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, life. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work on a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great. Can't wait. See you there. Asian chicks? Don't even get me started. I have, like, the worst case of yellow fever ever. Ever. Like a yellow plague. Oh yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. Get the fuck the out of here! <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. Okay. Um, hmm. Fuck these birds, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the birds. Well, I don't, so fuck you. No, I'm, uh, I, but, but for real, what's up? No, no, I'm good. I'm just trying to relax. Enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? 
It's like the only university in the city for some reason. Ugh, a teacher. You must be like, really smart. Sure, yes, let's go with that. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. No the problem. kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Damn. No way. You did it. Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get them. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. Well then. I don't know what else to say. I guess I'll talk with you. Mm -hmm. uh, forgive me. I haven't even asked your last name yet. My full name is Aiko Yumi. I know, I know. Could I be more Japanese? No, but you could realize the fact that you told me your name, like, literally 30 seconds ago. Whatever. Something I can help you with? Y yeah. I gotta know. What cup size you're rocking? Wow, how romantic. I'm rocking these. You're rocking these? Oh, fuck it, I'm out of here. Hopefully, I'll see you later. Maybe if I have to put another video up. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Just try it on. It's going to look so cute. Try what on? There's nothing here. Come on. I saw it, and I immediately thought of you. You're going to love it. I promise. Oh, my... <sighs> All right. Just make sure no one else is around. Yeah, sure. The coast is clear. <laughs> You're good. Jess, I can't wear this. What are you talking about? You look cute. Cute? Oh, stop. There's nothing wrong with a little skim. You can't keep all that boob to yourself, hun. It's not fair to the rest of the world. The world would be just fine without my... boobs. Yeah, but I won't. Besides, it wasn't cheap. So, you're stuck with it. So come on, let's go. I am not going anywhere in this. I'm changing back. <sighs> you are impossible. Enjoying the view? Quick, now's your chance. Before she goes to change, just say something, anything. Uh, 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 well, damn, girl, it's hot out here, or is it just <laughs> Oh, jeez. Hi. Sorry. Um, I'm so embarrassed right now. My friend made me put this stupid thing on. Sorry. One sec. Let me go change. Uh, what's the rush? I was kind of hoping you'd leave it on. It's a little revealing, don't you think? I don't want people to think I'm like that, you know? I don't know. But hey, if you've got it, fly it. So, are you saying I have it, then? Yes. Mm, well, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, if you're really saying you like it. Oh, and hi. The person inside of the bikini you're talking to? Her name is Belly. <laughs> so, I want to talk to you. I'm interested in knowing what you think about this. Okay. What are your feelings about true love? I believe there is one person out there for everyone. Aw, oh, you too? It seems like today's world has given up hope on true love. Oh, shit. I put a funny comment here, but I ran out of jokes. Alright. This will be a good chance to get to know each other better. And this is a good chance for me to end the video. Peace!